All right, not having it in the Game Caviar studio. I'm out here chilling today, Sunday. Just got finished watching the uh, Daytona 500. And I'm watching a show on uh, Discovery Channel about people who grow weed or whatever. But anyway, uh, I want to know if you guys checked out my last video. If you haven't, uh, please do so. It's about Arctic Combat. A uh, free-to-play game that you can get off Steam and that you can uh, you just play it. It's just like Call of Duty, basically. I was talking about the similarities between Call of Duty and some of the things that it does better than Call of Duty. And the video before that was, what was it? Boycott Treyarch, I think. Uh, of course, they're doing a double XP weekend for Black Ops 2 on all platforms. And, I, and it's free-to-play on Steam until Monday, sometime in Monday, possibly Monday afternoon, so if you haven't played it on a computer or you're just itching to play Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on a computer, then that's what, uh, I mean, that's, this is the time to do it. You know, I played a little bit last night, and I'm working on getting the Dymo Camo for the SMG. I think the only gun that I have left is the chi uh whatever it's called. But because of the lag, I've been forced to play hardcore mode, which isn't bad, Especially when you're trying to get the 150 kills. Uh, so, uh, it's just, it's different because you still have lag in hardcore. Like, hardcore is a good band-aid for uh, the lag, but it, it's not going to solve the lag issues. They're, I mean, Call of Duty, they go, you know, hand in hand with lag. So, you know, it's just, it, it's, it's easier for me. I play uh, Kill Confirmed Hardcore, so I, I do, I have had some more success playing that. It's easier to get headshots because you only have to shoot somebody in the head once and it kills them as opposed to 15 times in the regular mode and they still, and then you end up getting killed. So, you know, whatever. Uh, if you're in the market for some Bluetooth headphones, I would think about getting these Jaybird uh, sport, they're like sports headphones while I have you guys here, while I have your undivided attention. But I bought these from um, Walmart and they can connect to uh, at least two devices, but I think it's up to three. They have these little tabs right here that fit into your ear. Let me see, hold on, this one is the left one. Let me see if I can show you guys. You see that? And all that does is when you're running, or doing something physical, it's not going to, uh, you're not, they're not going to fall out, basically. The sound is really good, and the range is really good, but I think the range depends on your device that you have it connected to. I have it uh, paired with my phone, which is a Droid Razor HD, and I can pretty much walk across my house, which is about uh, 1,300 square feet, so... Uh, and it and it really works. Uh, the only thing that it gets kind of choppy on the far end of the house, but as far as sound quality, when you're inside of the range, you get bass, you get uh, very good treble, you don't get any distortion at all. And uh, and I've had it connected to two devices, my phone and my Nexus 7 tablet. These things are not cheap at all, but they're not really expensive. They run about $100. That's what they were when I picked them up. Uh, the price may have changed, uh, but when I picked them up in January, they were $100 at Best Buy. So you may be able to find a, a cheaper price online or not because Best Buy now is uh, matching prices mainly from like Amazon.com. So they're trying to turn the tide because for a while, Amazon would take sales from Best Buy and now Best Buy is trying to equalize their playing field. If you want a great pair of Bluetooth headsets that you can use when you're running, when you're lifting weights, when you're working outside, when you're doing whatever, something active or just sitting around the house and you don't want them to cont consistently fall out of your ear, uh, Jaybird is the way to go. Uh, I think that's pretty much it, man. Um, like I said, check out the, the videos and uh, drop me a like, drop me a comment. I did redesign the Game Caviar uh, intro as far as the uh, the actual Game Caviar logo. I went for a more 80s neon feel, uh, more of a retro style to it. It may get tweaked a little bit, but for the most part, it's just going to stay that same style 
And that's that's the look that I was going for. And a lot of people have uh, given me a lot of love for that. And um, it's getting positive reviews. So I really appreciate that. But anyway, uh, drop me a comment. Drop me a like. Uh, and I will... I'll, put, I'll most likely put up another video tonight. I don't know what it's going to be about, but uh, I will put up another video tonight. So I'll see you guys later on tonight. I'm not having it, and I'm out.